<laughs> so, the key met. Thank you, Teo. Um, the key message here is to get to Xcode. Get to Xcode 2.1 and create a universal binary and this is what's going to let us bring all of our apps over and I think you're going to find uh, that the tools are really really good to do this I think you're going to be very pleasantly surprised but even with all of this effort not every application is going to be universal on day one so what are we going to do we've got an awesome technology called Rosetta that we're going to be shipping with these new machines and Rosetta allows us to translate PowerPC to Intel. It lets us run existing PowerPC binaries on Intel. So existing apps run. It is a dynamic binary translator. It runs existing PowerPC apps. It is transparent to users. It's nothing like classic where you're loading a whole operating system. This is totally transparent. You just click on a PowerPC binary, it starts translating. And that's it. Users don't even know. It's lightweight, no big memory footprint, and it's pretty fast. So most users will not even know that they're running it, which is fantastic. So I'd like to just show this to you right now if I could. <coughs> Let me uh, just go over here and uh, I've got some apps right here. So I'm just going to open a Word document. And this is a Word document right here. And, uh, you know, I can go up and... It just thinks it's running on a power PC. Boom, boom, boom. Whatever it's doing. Let me open another one here. Boom. Very simple. Let me open uh, an Excel spreadsheet. No. Nope. Let me open uh, Quicken. Boom. Uh, you know, let me open uh, Photoshop. Mm 